Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met with leaders of the Baltic states in Kiev on Thursday. According to the president's press service, the parties discussed the strengthening of military and technical cooperation during the meeting with Latvian Prime Minister Evika Silina. We face hybrid attacks almost every day from Belarus, now drones are flying over our country, so we are here to learn from you as well, Silina told Zelensky during the meeting. Lithuania's president Gitanas Nauseda told Zelensky that the West needs to push away red lines and allow Ukraine to use Western-supplied weapons against military targets on Russian soil. The sooner we understand that we have to push away those red lines that we draw too many times in our heads, the sooner the victory of Ukraine will come, Nauseda said. Military assistance was also on the agenda during the meeting with the president of Estonia, Alar Karas. We appreciate Estonia's decision to allocate 0.25% of GDP to Ukraine's defense needs every year," Zelensky wrote on his social media page following the meeting with Karas. But I'm happy that uh, all your team uh, is doing and uh, how you are representing your country. It is as well encouragement for us uh, to learn from you because we are a borderline with Russia and Belarus and it is not always easy for us as well. We have uh, hybrid attacks uh, almost every day from <coughs> Belarus. Now drones are flying over our country so we are here as well to learn from you. You're very welcome, Mr. President. Thank you so much. And, uh, now I understand the most important, at least also for us, is to, to lift these restrictions what on, on uh, weapons what you get from the from West. So we have been supporting or have been on this position on the very beginning, including myself. But uh, it's justified that uh, you are allowed to use these weapons to, to target and uh, target military um, infrastructure on, on Russian ground. So, uh, and I hope that uh, our allies, especially US and UK, will allow to do so in many different ways. And uh, of course. Ukraine's president on Wednesday unveiled a memorial in Kiev dedicated to the victims of the 1944 Crimean deportation. The deportation, organized by the Soviet authorities, forcibly uprooted hundreds of thousands of ethnic Tatars from Crimea and transported them to Central Asia. Thousands died along the way. It was only in the late 1980s that Crimean Tatars were able to return to Ukraine. Volodymyr Zelensky drew parallels between the events of 1944 and the current war. Crimea is our home, and we must go forward until the invaders leave our home, Zelensky said. The memorial was opened on the sidelines of the Crimean summit held in Kiev. The summit was attended by the President of Lithuania and the Prime Minister of Croatia. У рамках четвертого саміту міжнародної кримської платформи Крим це не просто територія, це частина нашої душі. Це земля, 
де наші люди жили в мирі, жили в гармонії зі своєю культурою, зі своєю мовою, зі своїми традиціями. Ми не просто боремося за повернення Криму. Ми боремося за відновлення справедливості, за можливість для кожного кримчанина повернутися додому в свій дім, у свій Крим, вільний від Росії та страху. Зламної волі. Він нагадує нам про три трагічні... Вітаю, 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 вітаю